This is a comprehension quiz that I administered last year, and I'm just showing you how you can, or a student on his or her iPad can look at the answers that the rest of the class gave. These pie charts will tell them, look, everyone chose the second option for question number three, so it's probably correct. It may not be though. You could be in the very minor um, part of the class, the 9% that actually got number two, question number two correct by answering the first option. Um, but it's a way for you to uh, look at the popular responses and double check your answers. Here, you can actually on the iPad scroll through text responses. These are answers that kids typed just for extra credit. Um, do, how do they compare to yours? You'll see yours in here along with everyone else's. You might want to add to yours or um, edit it to have capital uh, letters now that you've seen that that's what everybody else is doing. Uh, here's a valuable pie chart that shows you which one had the most responses, that a couple kids had some different thoughts. Um, what are your thoughts? And you just scroll th through and see how people did. You can actually go back after looking at these and edit your own responses to get an even better score. Um, but it, it basically causes you to evaluate and analyze what you did. And here are some more text responses that you can scroll through and see what other people included as text evidence. Um, maybe I wrote one of these really short ones and reading some of the longer text responses will help me uh, understand what kinds of things the teacher might be looking for because these are the really top-notch students that are getting the best grades in the class. Here are some more text responses. Wow, this person really modeled a fantastic written response. I probably want to read that carefully and tailor my own response to um, show some of the same characteristics. And then I can scroll down and see the vocabulary questions and how people other people answered them. Yeah, I might be able to go back and change the answer to mine, but this will deepen my understanding of the vocabulary. Perhaps I was the one person to get number 17 incorrect, and now I understand by seeing what other people put um, why memory is the best choice.